welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi and today if you haven't guessed from the title of this video, I am bringing you my TBR list for the Bratz Readathon. I found out about this readathon from Books with Chloe. I will leave her YouTube channel just here and in my description as well. And I thought that this would be such a fun readathon to participate in for the month of September. So if you cannot tell from my inspired makeup look, I did go with Team Yasmin. Yasmin here. She was always my favorite Bratz doll growing up and I just think it would be so fun to complete these reading challenges. I don't think that this TBR is too ambitious. I do think it is doable. I just have a lot that will be going on in September, so hopefully I can prioritize reading these books. So stay tuned if you would like to see what books I will be reading for this challenge. I will also leave a link down below to the Instagram page for the readathon. It has all of the challenges there. There's Sasha, Yasmin, Chloe and Jade to choose from. I haven't decided yet if I'll be reading the group book. I just feel like pushing the readathon to five books plus another book that I want to read that month might be too many. But let me know down below what I should do. Now without further ado, let's jump straight into the books and the prompts. The first prompt for Team Yasmin is Pretty Princess, inspired by her nickname. And the prompt for that is to read a book with a crown on the cover. I've chosen to go with Four Dead Queens by Astrid Scholl. Now this is a book I've had for over a year on my TBR and I have not read it. So I am super pumped to get into this one. I did actually pick up my copy at Supernova 2019, so it is signed by the author as well. And like I said, it's super embarrassing that I haven't read this yet, but hopefully this reading challenge will be the perfect time. It's basically a YA fantasy that follows a main character who has to save the kingdom after four of the queens end up dead. I think this book will be right up my alley and I'm super excited to read this one. The next prompt is Latinx, which is obviously inspired by Yasmin's heritage. And for this book, you have to read a book by a Latinx author. The really good thing about the Instagram for this readathon is that they do give you recommendations for each of the prompts. I did not already own anything by a Latina author. So for that one, I've actually decided to swap it with the challenge for Sasha to read something by a black author. And I've gone with Dear Martin by Nick Stone. So I was meant to read this in July and I didn't. But it's super thin so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to finish it for this readathon. And it's basically a story that deals with race and identity. And it seems very fitting for the landscape that we're in today. So I guess this one is like a little bit of a cheat. But I am super excited to read this book. And it still serves the same purpose. To get us to read out of our sort of typical or our norm. And read from more diverse authors. The next prompt is... Is hopeless romantic so read a book with a romance and this prompt is actually the largest book that I've chosen for this readathon and that is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. I read the first book in the series A Court of Thorns and Roses last month and I am super excited to jump into this. I wanted to pick it up straight away it just like that story completely gripped me but I did have a few other books I had to read first. I'm sure majority of you guys know what this is about so I won't go through the synopsis. But just know that I absolutely loved the first book, so I have really, really high expectations for this. Especially because once I told everyone I read the first one, everybody was like, wait till you read the second one. So I am super keen for this. And the final prompt that is specific to Team Yasmin is to read a book with an animal on the cover. I really wanted to include a graphic novel in this readathon because they just helped me feel so much more accomplished. This one might be a little bit of a stretch, but it is Amulet by Kazu Kibushi and it has a rabbit on the cover. Um, it also has an unidentified creature down here, so I feel like it's the best one that I could get away with and this just has such a stunning art style I'm so intrigued to read this I picked this up in like a 2 for 25 sale at one of the bookstores so why not read it for the Bratz challenge <laughs> the synopsis also sounds really amazing I read it and was completely hooked so it says there's something strange behind the basement door after family tragedy Emily Naven and their mother moved to an ancestral home to start a new life on the family's very first night in the mysterious house, Em and Naven's mum is kidnapped by a tentacled creature. 
Now it's up to Em and Naven to figure out how to set things right and save their mother's life. This sounds literally so good and if anyone has read this, let me know because there's a whole series out that I've noticed recently and I am really interested. And the final prompt for everybody that completes the challenge is to read the group book. The group book is The Henna Wars and I'll pop it up on the screen now. It is something that I've listed as one to read on my Goodreads but I haven't got around to purchasing it yet. That's why I said I'm unsure if I'm going to read it, but let me know down in the comments if I should push myself and try and finish this one as well. I do also want to mention another book that I want to read during September is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Wow, this is a lot for one person. And this is for the Bookish Bean Co. book club. I'm a rep for the company, the Bookish Bean Co., so you can use my code LEXI10 for 10% of all your purchases. And the lovely girl who runs the store also runs a book club. And this was the chosen book for the book club. I did already own it, so I really do want to read it in time for book club. There's a whole massive group of us and we chat about the books on Discord. I will leave the Bookish Bean Co. information in my description box. So if you do want to join in on the book club and the Discord, uh, just go straight to the link and I'm sure it will be up on their webpage somewhere. That is all the books that I hope to be reading in the month of September and for the Bratz Readathon. Make sure to let me know if you are participating because I would love to keep each other on track. And once again, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!